Hey, what's up? Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. I hope everybody had a happy holidays and a Merry Christmas. Today we're working on a 1935 Ford Matchbox truck. This is a very popular casting for customizing. A lot of wheel swaps happen on these. I've seen guys turn them into convertibles, engine swaps. It's got a little flathead engine in there. You can see there. Flathead engine. Today I wanted to do a little bit of a Frankenstein build. We're going to start with this as a basic chassis and body and I got one of these mod rods which is not a very good looking ride at all I'm gonna say the reason I bought a couple of these is these engines that's a nice detailed engine I like the carbs so today we're gonna take this engine put it in here do some do some paint do some wheels and we're gonna make a pretty cool custom okay Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Well, hopefully between these two rides, we could make something sweet. Sure, it'd be nice if I could just drop this chrome interior straight in. Let's try. Not quite. You always forget that they like to hide their posts through the engine. That is a problem. So yeah, first things first, I'm going to cut out this post and we'll smooth everything out in there and see if we can make a little bit of room for that engine. It's a little unorthodox, but you do what you gotta do. I'm gonna use a little mini cutoff disc. So I've snipped off this little, uh, I don't know what you wanna call it, it's kind of like a rad support off the front of the flat head here. And we're gonna graft that over onto the front of this engine. I'm just trying to work out in my head here how we're gonna put this engine onto this interior. And I think it's gonna start with the firewall. So I'm gonna leave whatever firewall I have on this engine and we'll just connect it to this truck interior and I think we're gonna be okie dokie. So more than likely this rounded interior isn't going to work in here. So I'm gonna cut it off right behind the firewall. Just like so. And we should be able to connect almost perfectly onto the existing firewall. And we'll just have to graft in this front rad support and make that look nice, you know. Really shouldn't be too bad, honestly. So we're just gonna cut this flat head right out of here. Sorry pipes, you're just not that nice of an engine. Pimp, so that should go on, that should go together real nice as long as all of our clearances add up here. So notice I haven't cut the hole in the hood yet, that's because I'm not 100% sure. Everything's gonna line up here. Just wanna take a second to get everything nice and flat on both sides. A little range where carburetors are going to hit so just to make things easier I'm going to go ahead and drill this out a little bit. Perfect spot for a little air cleaner to come through. Bleep, 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 bleep. So obviously using a drill is going to remove the most amount of material quickly. So I have a little bit of filing to do here just to open this up enough to get the top of our engine through. I probably won't go as big as they did. I mean that's a little bit it's probably way more than we need. But we'll see where we end up here. One of these days I'll take your guys' advice and I'll get a jeweler's saw. I'll give that a try. This isn't so bad though. I mean these hardened files go through this die cast pretty quick. So starting to get things into shape here. It doesn't really take too long. So this is starting to look pretty good. I got to make a little bit more room for the front of this valve cover. But other than that, I mean the motor is getting in there nicely. Notice these pipes are a little bit higher up on the cab than the matchbox and that's just the nature of this motor and how it fits into this casting. It's not quite as low as the matchbox but that's okay. I want to see as much of that motor through that hood as possible. So I do got to make a little bit more room but I think that's mocking up really nice and look how nice this is going to go together. 
So when I'm ready to connect these two together, all I gotta do is drop a little bit of glue into this space, use a little Insta set, and then those two pieces will go together just like they were made for the truck. So that is pretty sweet. I still have to uh, custom fit our little rad support here with the headlights. I don't wanna lose those headlights. And that's gonna sneak right up in here. So I am probably gonna have to do a little bit of trimming but it shouldn't be too bad. As you can see by my glove, I had a little bit of a rough go at it <laughs> making this hole, but it's just me hitting my glove with the file over and over again. Yeah, so far, so good. So I gotta do a little bit more work on here, make some more room for that valve cover. And everything should be hunky-dory. I'll clean this up a little bit more, make it a little bit more presentable, but I like where this is going. We'll just jam a little bit of super glue in there and we'll just harden that up. A little insta set. A little trouble sneaking it past the lower hinge on the door there. There we go. New interior. That looks so much better than this flathead. Although I think a flathead is a very sweet motor. This is going to be equally as cool. And look how nice that fits. Pimp. All right, I've got everything fitting really nice. Look how nicely this goes in. Just got to push that one header over the hinge. It's beautiful. A sneak peek at the wheels I was doing. I thought we'd use some sort of like truck mags. So we got these really nice chrome steelies. I got some smaller ones for the front, so it should look really decent. It's fitting really good here. So I'm just looking into what I'm going to do for paint. I know we've been doing the candy and the sparkles and yada yada yada. Maybe we'll we'll go back old school. We'll do a nice solid color. Something really cool. I'm going to go ahead and get this paint stripped off of this little matchbox. I'm going to give it a scuff. And I'm going to drop it in um, some super remover it's called. Got a little jar here and I'm just going to drop it in and we're going to bury it and we're going to forget about it for a good half an hour. Bloop. This stuff claims to be the most powerful paint remover without methylene chloride. So I don't know, I'll give it a few minutes, maybe we'll check back on it, see if it's peeling or not, but... I have my doubts. It's probably going to be a good half hour before this is ready to go, so we'll come back in a second. I went for lunch, so it's been about at least half hour. Man, it's so slow. My other stuff would have had this beat up in like three minutes flat. So that's rather disappointing. I don't know, maybe it's not that bad. I just need a little wire brush action. I don't know, I think we might have got this beat up pretty good actually. So, I think I'm going to just switch to a wire brush and we'll get this cleaned up. And then we can uh, head to the paint booth, I think. I'm going to mix up a little bit of orange. And I'm going to lighten it up just a touch. So the orange looks okay, but I don't think it's going to be enough. It's not fancy enough for me. So we're going to throw in a little bit of this. This is um, called Highlight Interference. 
I don't have a lot of experience using this, but we're gonna try it out anyways. And we're gonna just add that on top of the orange and see how it goes. Kind of an experiment. So on camera, it doesn't look like it did that much. But I, I can see it, and it's got a really cool effect. I'll see if I can get it filmed later, but I think the clear coat is really going to set it off. So I needed to make an axle tube for the front axles just because the original axle was too short to make the gap. As you'll notice, I'm wearing my blue examination gloves. Apparently I'm out of black ones and these are the emergency stash. The purpose of this little hole in the brass tubing is so I can put my glue in. So I can stick a half shaft in. A little bit of glue, our tubing, make sure that's in. A little quick set. Mm. Done. Click, 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 click. Since our wheel package are like slotted steelies, I think they are just what we need for this project. It's pimp. Just getting ready to do a final assembly. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Man, they did such a nice job on that engine. That looks like it's metal. Check it. Sweet, you know, now that's a car I'd like to own. The Matchbox itself with the engine was kind of eh. And the Mod Rod was kind of eh. But together they make something pretty awesome. So I'm really feeling this. Let me see if I can show off that highlight interference a little bit. See the edge of that hood? How that's like lit up gold? That's the idea. As you're cruising down the boulevard, just little certain parts of your car just kind of light up. I mean, yeah, it's, the whole thing's pretty sparkly, but the idea is it's supposed to highlight the effect would be a lot better on a full-size car, obviously these are automotive paints I'm using, but I don't know, they still look pretty sweet on these little cars. Loving this thing. Let's get something on rotisserie. So there we go guys, there's our custom Ford pickup. I think that thing looks great. What do you guys think? Leave me some comments. We've got a bunch of videos coming up in the next few days. I want to finish the year strong. I know I've been slacking a little bit, but we're going to you know, make it up to you. We're going to do some really cool stuff, so stick around. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.